Hi! Welcome back. When we last left off, Zim was getting ready to go back to the white building, or general labs. As you can see, he is in his fancy stealth suit. Let us go, shall we? Um, where's the door? I don't know, Zim. Where is the door? That is not a door. Well observed. Now what? I see some open windows up above. I suppose I'll have to climb. Chapter 2. Alone in the Dark. Ominous. The lights are all on, but I don't hear or see any humans. This room is empty. I was in this room already. No. Wait. This one doesn't have any windows. Just so you know, this room is also empty. And you can't go down any farther. So the room that you need to go into is this one. And there will be an elevator. I think this goes to the first floor. Question marks? Madness! I'll go there. I know there's something to search on that floor. I saw it. Alright. And then coming up is where you get the second memo. And you use these memos to convince Dib that you aren't crazy. And you get friendship points. I'm not sure that's actually what they're called, but in-house memo. Urkin specimen not reacting as expected to memory wipe. Exhibiting belligerent behavior. Please advise. Uh-oh. Memory wiping. Dots. I forgot to read that. <laughs> the antenna. Here where things get whack. There's a faint odor in the air here. I must investigate. I really- oh wait. Oh, I really think. Hush found the chamber. We should stop it now. It will look around and leave to report to the tallest. It won't know what the equipment is. But if you're wrong, then we'll stop it. I wonder what this arrow could lead to. This wall is odd. All right, creepy elevator scene is creepy with ambient Green Day music. Got a scalpel. These all say the exact same thing, which is that they're biohazard suits. Biohazard warning. Smells bad. You can't do anything with this great either. Ready for this? You ready for this? Okay. You know it's going to be great because it makes you save. Oh, what is that smell? Maybe you should bathe in something besides paste, Zim. Hmm, this. Wait, it's a human. It used to be one anyway. A very complicated array of switches, tubes, wires, and lights. This thing can't possibly be alive. It's looking at me. What might this be? So many monsters. Let's see what it thinks of our little experiment. Greaves is just like off in the corner. These are the life support controls. This thing is too mutated to survive by itself. Alright, now I've went through this several times. Most of the time, I turn off the life support. And a while back, I tur didn't turn off the life support. And there are other options that you can take where you can either say, like, oh, it's fascinating, or you can just be like, dots.
But either way, I think you don't have a choice in shutting down the operation. You always have to, you know, take things in your own hands because you're Zim. It terminated 36C. What? All security personnel to the chamber. Immediately. You ready for this? You ran fast as balls. Run, Zim, run! Your little scrawny legs. Ah, uh, desk in the way. Chapter 3, The Creeping Terror. Dib! Dib! Ugh. I'm not gonna do the mini moose sound. What does he want? Nah. Okay, I only did it the one time. Fine, I'll go look. Okay, twice. That's all we're doing. And see, this part's really annoying because um, the creator of the game forgot to fix the speed level. And so now they all walk fast as shit. Sometimes it takes a lot of maneuvering. Hey! What are you doing? Div isn't here. Get out. That's our couch! You see a green kid? Go away. Oh my god. Are they gone? Well, another uh, brilliant escape, I suppose. I won't be needing this suit. Strips off naked in the middle of Dib's house. Alright, this. The plunger. The plunger of doom. I must possess it. And it is a reference to this old video game called Globs of Doom, I think, that Nickelodeon made. And it had all of the Nickelodeon characters in it. And Zim was actually in it. And Dib was. And I don't remember if Gurr was in it or not. We were fighting off giant globs of doom, obviously. And Zim's weapon, for some bizarre reason, his weapon was a plunger. A plunger of doom. I will do my best to um, show you everything that's on here, but it moves since like they move so fast right now. Oh my gosh! Okay. Con, leave at 6 a.m. to avoid dog lady. I'm thinking that was also Mrs. Feeny. It says find way into secret base. Overpower alien. Gut alien. Hey. Oh my god. His handwriting is too messy. I can't understand it. I like that headcanon. I don't even care! Snappy the werewolf. This toy appears to be shockingly durable. I should analyze it later. Destroy drives. Look, maybe I don't feel like it, okay? Holy crap. Um, sure. Oh yes, this computer must hold such horrible secrets. It will take hours to decode all of Dib's madness. Yes, hours. And before I spend those hours, it seems to me that I've overlooked something... Huh, what am I forgetting? There's something I'm going to do first. Something not very pleasant. That something not very pleasant is to talk to Gaz again. Oh my god, okay. Gotta do like a little loop. That mini moose? My mini moose! He said if I took the bugs out of him, I could use them to play games for three days. Give him to me! I have a day left. Yeah. Well, that's just too. Wait, bugs? Yeah, there were microphones on him and Gurr. Huh. Sorry, I was just thinking of how she knows his name. But I'm trying to remember if they ever actually said Gurr's name in any of the things in front of. Gaz or did. And there were some in your house that I didn't get. Now go away. It's worse than I thought. Girl moved exactly as I wanted to talk to him. You got my pig! 
Uh, oh yes, I suppose I- You get a kiss! <laughs> Ugh, Kurt, how many times have I told you never to do that? Get out of my room. You've been a very bad... You've been very bad, Gert. I think your pig wants to stay with me. No, piggy! Pigs don't like Sir Units who kiss Gert. Now think about this thing you have done. Get out of my room! Go away, Zim. I can't. Where is Dib? At a paranormal romance convention. He's spreading the truth or something. Go home. I can't. Then go somewhere else. Um, what's the cheat codes? Vampire Piggy Hunter to get infinite monies. Press 1120 squiggle. It says 3, not squiggle. Your handwriting's illegible. No, it isn't. Alright, so, Gaz, actually, later you can input cheat codes. And, like, one of them gives you unlimited health. Not that you actually need unlimited health in this game. Like, other than, like, hurting yourself that one time. And then, he gets sick later, but you don't really need unlimited health. As, as long as, like, you took the Tylenol and everything. And then also, she gives you, um, a cheat code. I think she does. You can input a cheat code into her to see all the endings of the game. Okay, let's see if we can get out the freaking door. Let's see what you've been up to, you smelly little monkey. Sweet jumping chili bean! Yes, I'm back! It didn't go that great. No one listened to me, and someone threw a rock at my head. But I did get this flyer for free rides into space. I'm pretty sure it's fake, though. I guess she's in her room. No, really, Dib. Dib doesn't walk nearly as fast as... Here we go. Cutscene. <laughs> Dib. What are you doing here? Why are all these pictures of me on your computer? I took them. With a the camera. I guess you weren't paying attention. You should be more careful with your disguises. I have copies of all of them, so go ahead and delete those if it makes you feel better. Even if you did manage to get rid of them. What is that? Oh, I'm still holding that free space rides flyer thing. It's a piece of paper. Why? Is paper another weakness of yours? Give it to me! Uh, okay. A woman was passing them out at the convention. Do you know something about this, Zim? You didn't go to this horrible place, did you? Hmm. No. Should I? No! No, 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 no. You fool! You don't know what you're getting into! What am I getting into? Those humans are evil! You think I'm evil? You are, but this is different. They're using human test subjects for awful things. You do the same thing! Yes, but this is different. How? That's not important. I'll be staying here tonight. Hey! You can't just camp out in my house! They're on to me. They're at the base. Don't go snooping around in my absence. I'm sure they wouldn't mind killing you, either. Who is they? Have you been listening, Dib? The humans in the white building. The evil ones. I don't know why I'm even bothering to tell you this. You'll just make everything worse. It might help if you explain. I don't care about any of this. Maybe you're overreacting. Did you mess with my stuff? Okay. I know your silly little human brain can only comprehend so much, but try to keep up. There's a building called General Laboratories. The humans in there are running experiments on each other. I have proof. See this memo I found? Hey, hey, hey. See, I told you. Huh. It just says cell death. It doesn't say what kind. This could be talking about yeast or something. Oh, what about this? They have an Urkin. That's me. I'm the Urkin. They took me to something and I don't know what. Maybe this is a problem. Maybe they're on my side. Hmm. Obviously, the first thing to do is get some real information. You'll have to take me there to... No. Why not? I saw everything already. There's no need to go back. Oh, and they tried to kill me. He's shivering. I want to see it for myself. Fine, you can go alone. And die! Okay, then. This is probably nothing, but I should check it out. Just in case. But maybe he's in me. But maybe it's dangerous. Like I'd let that stop me. I should probably do some research first, though. Mm-hmm. Uh... Well... I'll, uh... You can... I don't want him hanging around, and there are surveillance cameras set up, so I guess I don't need him to stay close by to keep an eye on him. Go watch TV. Yes, of course. TV. I will watch TV, Dib. And it will teach me the weaknesses of the humans, and I am doing it of my own free will. Good for you. 
Zim magically disappeared. Okay. Now, we are going... Oh, never mind. Zim didn't delete anything? Ha! Huh. He's too dumb to know how to Earth computers work. Okay, now we're gonna stop it. Alright? We're done for now. End on the great note of mystery that is happening here. And I will see you guys next time.